So anyways, finish it. We want to finish this up and we'll need to select the gravity so it's pointing in the right direction. We want it to go down in a negative y there. So uh, so now that's set properly and we'll try to we'll run the simulation again here. And again, I just um, Just going to play this for one second. And you can see that there's the 15.4 inch pounds as we expected. It came out positive. So, um, and then as this thing moves, the um, when we look at the solution, we can see that this is in pretty high tension. And so you can see as it moves, let me just uh, actually, um, it's I'm going to turn off the keyframing here so that I can keep this over here. So as this begins to move, right, this, this is in pretty good tension. So that's moving around that pivot point and that will help lift it. So that's why you can see that the, um, the torque there is starting to trail off. Maybe what I'll do is just, um, If we do this, the uh, simulation for two seconds, okay, try that again. All right, so now you can see it continues to trail off, but this is intention. It's it's helping to rotate that around and support it. Um, so, anyways, that was pretty easy to set up and gave us a nice validation that our result 15.4 inch pounds uh, as the torque required to hold that in place was correct.